Hi, and welcome to another episode of All Things Considered. Today, I'm breaking from my usual routine. I'm not talking about Seattle, and I'm not talking about anything political. I wanted to do something a little fun. I love movies. As a matter of fact, I have a couple of ideas churning in my head right now for a couple of movies. One's a sequel. One is a brand new one and I'm trying to get it to the appropriate people so hopefully they will bite because uh, if I can't do the YouTube thing uh, I would at least like to be able to create movies uh, I can't write a screenplay nor can I write a script but I can visual I mean I can verbalize an idea so vividly that if you close your eyes you can see it play in your head um, so, having said that, today's topic is going to be on the new movie Aladdin. Um, yeah, somebody just texted me. Um, it's going to be on Aladdin. I had my reservations about it at first. Uh, Will Smith playing a genie. I didn't think it would work. They had Will Smith blue. I didn't think it would work. I thought he would look like a smurf with large ears. But I didn't understand exactly how they were going to make the movie. And what I said by what I mean by that is I had no idea that they were going to do a faithful interpretation of the animated Disney movie starring Robin Williams as a genie. But they did. They took an animated movie that was a musical or that had music in it and turned it into a live action Disney musical that you could enjoy uh, as an adult or as a child or as an adult with your kids at the theater because let's face it when they make an animated movie for kids they have grown up storylines for the adults but uh, Will Smith wasn't trying to redo Robin Williams. He was trying to be humorous in a Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, early Will Smith kind of humor. Um, and, and it worked. I was very impressed with it. Um, not to give too much away in the movie, but um, for people that haven't seen it um, yet, I would suggest that you do. Especially if you have young kids between like maybe four, uh, maybe four or five, six, maybe up to like maybe 10 or 11. I would say they can enjoy it too. Um, a lot of the actors in the movie are, as far as I know, unknown actors really. They're not somebody that would be on my radar, except for Will Smith. Um, the animation that they do in the movie, which is uh, the tiger and uh, the chimp, uh, the monkey, um, is actually very good. Um, it works very well in the movie. It's way better than Jar Jar Binks, if you know what I mean. Um, we've come a long way since Star Wars in animation. Um, as a matter of fact, Will Smith's doing a movie, and it should be done now, coming to the theater or already at the theater called Gemini Man, where Will Smith plays himself in the movie. He plays an older him, and then there's also a split personality him that's like the evil him that's much younger, but when you see, it looks very real. The animation looks very real. Sort of like uh, Benjamin Buttons, where they went and took Brad Pitt as an older man, and they went back in time and made him younger as the movie progressed. Um, that was okay, but uh, the animation in the Aladdin movie was very good. And Disney was very smart in how they did this movie, because Disney wanted to uh, not redo the Aladdin story that they have already done on DVD that everybody knows the Robin Williams Aladdin um, they did take some license and change just a little bit of stuff 
uh, in the movie because it's Will Smith, and they weren't wanting to. They didn't want Will Smith to be Robin Williams because there's only one Robin Williams, who happens to be uh, hands down one of, if not the, funniest uh, comedians around. Um, so uh, Will Smith plays the part really good. Um, he doesn't stay blue throughout the whole movie, but it's pretty much note for note, just like the uh, animated movie. The actors that they picked um, to play the parts, the, Ed Jasmine, um, Aladdin, um, Jafar, um, the dad was, yeah, the Sultan, he was okay. Jafar could have been a little more evil, I thought, a little more mean looking. Um, to be honest with you, to play Jafar, I would have picked, um, what's that actor's name? Hold on, let me look it up. And I will tell you the actor I could see playing um, Jafar in this movie. Um, um, he was um, Arnold Vosloo. He was in the movie The Mummy. He played the Egyptian. Now, I could see him playing Jafar in the Aladdin, in the Aladdin movie. I could see him playing Jafar. Um, or I could see, um, well, other than the guy that they picked, I, they wanted to pick guys that were not well known because Will Smith was the main character, sort of like the character actors that were in the Aladdin animated movie. Um, the most recognizable was um, Robin Williams, and I guess that's how they worked it out. But, uh, but yeah, Arnold Vosloo, um, he played the high priest in, uh, in the movie uh, The Mummy, which came out in 99. That was with Brendan Fraser and uh, Rachel Weisz, um, Oded Farr, John Hanna, and Patricia Velasquez. Um, so, um, anyway, I will put a link in the description. Uh, I'll put a link in the, uh, the description um, to the Aladdin trailer. Um, I will put a link to the animated trailer and also to the uh, 2019 Will Smith trailer for the Aladdin movie. Um, it's very well done. The animation that's in there, uh, the animated part is good. Um, there's times when you can kind of tell that it's animated, but I watched it on a small screen. If you watch it on a big IMAX screen or you watch it on a big screen at the theater, you're not really going to be able to tell the animation from the regular. That's how good it is. And uh, I was highly impressed. Being an artist, you know, I thought it was the best uh, going around. Anyway, uh, if you haven't seen it yet, go check out Aladdin 2019 with Will Smith as the genie. You will be pleasantly surprised, and if you are in love with the animated movie, Aladdin from uh, 19... When did Aladdin come out? 19... Aladdin animated. Um, uh, 1992, the animated movie went to the theater. Um, Aladdin, um, it starred um, Robin Williams, Scott... Wang Winger as Aladdin, Linda Larkin as Princess Jasmine, Gilbert Godfrey as Lago, Jonathan Freeman as Jafar, Frank Wilker as Abu, Raja, uh, Leah Sangola, Princess Jasmine. So they had two different Princess Jasmines uh, doing the animation. Um, so anyway, um, check it out. Aladdin 2019, this has been a review uh, of the movie, uh, my personal opinion of it, um, and I'm very picky because I am an artist, and I got to really, really enjoy something to really enjoy it, uh, and this was a thorough, a thoroughly enjoyable, uh, almost two hours uh, animated, uh, live action uh, musical of Aladdin, um, so uh, anyway, if you uh, like my videos, please put a like and subscribe. Um, like them and subscribe. Uh, hit that bell for the subscribe. 
Um, if you uh, have an idea for a video you want me to do, put a comment. If you have a comment on this movie, if you saw it and you liked it, put a comment. If you saw it and didn't like it, just put a comment. Don't spoil for people that haven't seen it. That's a, a bad form. Um, anyway, um, if you think I can do a better job with my videos, please put a comment and let me know how. Um, if you uh, um, think I should uh, stop doing the videos and get off the YouTube, let me know. Um, I'd like to talk to you about it. Maybe I can do something better. Anyway, this has been All Things Considered. Have a good night, America, and all points beyond.